Hey everyone, Effie here. Today I'm going to show you how I made this card using our Jumbo Spider Mum stamp set. I posted this card for the last day of our Instagram hop and there was a lot of interest. So I decided, let me make this video and post it ASAP. So we're going to be doing some watercoloring today. I stamped this beautiful floral image onto some watercolor paper and then I spooned on some gold embossing powder and hit the whole image with my heat gun melting all of that powder. Now we have all these beautiful raised lines to help us do all of our watercoloring. Before I begin the watercoloring process, I'm going to go ahead and stamp three leaves and this is a great opportunity to use up some of those scrap papers that you have in your stash. So I just pulled out some smaller watercolor uh, scraps and embossed three images and now let's get ready to watercolor. I'm using Dr. P.H. Martin's uh, Radiant Concentrated Watercolors. I'm using the color Scarlet for my mum today and I am doing some wet and wet watercoloring. I did uh, go over some of the areas with some clean water first and then I'm going to take a fine tip water brush dip it into the scarlet watercolor and then apply the pigment into the inner portions of my mum petals then I'll take another fine tip water brush and carefully blend that pigment out to the petal tips but I'm going to you need to be a little patient with this process because we're essentially layering the colors on and we're building upon the colors. The process that you see me here do now, the putting down pigment, pulling the color out, this is not going to be the only instance where I apply color to this area. I'm going to continue to go back as I continue to work on the rest of the floral. I'm going to go back later once some of these areas are dry and I'm going to build upon the color to add a little bit more pigment to the inner portions of the petals making those areas a little darker each time I paint them and this is going to give me contrast in my painting because I want those areas where you have the shadows to be really dark but re I mean really dark with the with the scarlet not like black um, I want to add more of the scarlet paint in the inner portions of the petals to give it a little bit more contrast in those areas. So we're building color here. We're putting down pigment. We're blending it out. We're moving on to another section of the floral to continue adding the base color. And then once those areas are dry, as I continue to work on other areas of the flowers, I'm going to go back to add more shading. I'm just using the one color here. I'm only using the scarlet. I do go back and I use Wisteria uh, watercolors and that's actually from the Colorburst collection. I like the Wisteria because it's like a nice deep kind of berry tone uh, and I have the Wisteria liquid watercolors which is what I use but if you have the regular Colorburst or if you have a nice deep red uh, watercolor that you have in your sash you can definitely just use that but I did go in with that deep berry watercolor and, and I added it to the center area of my spider mom so that that area will be the darkest and it kind of looks like there's a hollow space in the center of the, uh, not wisteria, of the mum. I posted a picture of this work in progress in a Facebook group and I got a ton of really positive feedback and you know a lot of people usually ask me what watercolors I use. Uh, in my last few videos I have been using the Dr. P.H. Martin's watercolors. Before that I almost exclusively used Ken Oliver color burst, which I absolutely love. If you don't have the Dr. P.H. Martins and you want to use the color burst for this, you can use the Alizarin Crimson uh, color burst. It's almost the exact shade of red or very similar. So, uh, you know, you don't have to go out and buy a whole new watercolor set. Uh, I, I love my color bursts. I'll be going back to those. I just wanted to use some of the other paints that I have in my collection because the Dr. Peach Martins were just kind of sitting there and I wanted to use them and you know I'm, I am falling in love all over again with these so 
for the leaves, let's let's get back to the painting. So for the leaves, I use a combination of grass green and true blue to add the shading to the greens. Once all the painting was done, I die cut all the pieces using the coordinating dies. Then this is a panel that I previously created. This was stamped using our many mums cling stamp. Don't mind this corner here. I got kind of lazy with my Copic coloring. So that part is going to be covered. So I, I decided let me just use this piece that I've previously created for my background. So I trimmed my A2 panel. I trimmed about an eighth of an inch on each side. And then I added some dimensional foam tape to the back. And I was going to just pop this up onto a piece of A2 cardstock. But I wanted to add some piercing details to the edges. So I used our nested pierced dies and I added that detailing around the edges of an A2 size card panel. And then I finally popped up that many mums background onto the pierced piece of cardstock. Then I popped up all of the florals, stamped the sentiment, added some layers behind the sentiment, glued that on, and then lastly, I just added some clear enamel dewdrop dots to finish off my card. That is all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's project and video. All the supplies will be listed in the YouTube description box. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to our channel because I update it regularly. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.